I am Ben with the BTC Sessions. I'm here on 17th Avenue in Calgary, Alberta, and today I'd like to speak with you about a website called Paxful. Paxful is a way for people to link up online to buy and sell Bitcoins. Now because this is, I'd say, primarily marketed towards people who cannot already easily buy Bitcoin, you will likely be paying a bit of a premium if you buy here. However, if you're a seller, you're likely going to be making a bit of a profit. There are so many payment options here, uh, so that is where sometimes the premium can be worth it uh, because of sheer convenience. So without further ado, let's head over to the website and see how it works. All right, so here we are on the Paxful homepage, and I'm just going to go through a few quick things here. So there is a drop down menu with your buy, sell and create an offer options. Um, you have a dashboard with all your general information. You can click here to go to your Bitcoin wallet. Uh, there is a help drop down menu and you have your profile. Once you sign up, all your general settings and everything like that. Um, as I scroll down here, uh, you have this little section which is for buying Bitcoins instantly. Now this is for US dollars, so I won't be using that today, but um, nice and convenient for anybody in the US there. Uh, they have a, a little guide as far as what you can do on this site, um, you know, breakdowns of how to sell your gift cards, all that. Uh, so first let's figure out how to buy Bitcoin. So you let's go to the drop down and hit buy Bitcoin. Um, so you're going to end up on this page here. Uh, again, you can select buy or sell still from this screen, um, but you're going to enter in an amount you'd like to buy. So say $20, and then you're going to do this drop down and pick your currency. And then you can also do a drop down and pick how you're going to pay. Um, now there's obviously a ton of options here, so I'm not going to do all of them, but, um, Actually, for right now, I'm not going to pick anything because I want to see what pops up. Uh, so I'm going to hit search and this will give me every possible uh, seller. So here you can see the seller name. You can see uh, how much positive feedback they've gotten from past transactions. You can see uh, what you're going to pay with. Um, the range uh, that you can pay in and this is uh, what you're going to get per dollar that you spend and you can see that you get the best option first. Um, so you can also go over to the left hand side and you can pick a specific payment option uh, and see only those. So let's say this MasterCard gift card option. Um, there, These are all the people selling uh, with that payment option. All right, so let's check out this guy here. I'm going to go to his page. I'm going to click on his name. Um, and you can see for this guy, he's got a really good reputation. He's probably been here for a while. He's done a lot of selling and uh, there isn't any negative feedback. Um, you've got some uh, some warnings, just, you know, I can't use a, a US card from here. I can't process cards beginning with this number. Um, so this look guys looks pretty good. So I went over to shoppers. I picked myself up a MasterCard gift card and I came back. So here I am. Uh, let's just search that guy up one more time just for good measure. So I bought a $25 gift card. I'll hit my currency. Um, I could select my way to pay, but uh, this is a long list. So I think it's honestly easier. I'll just hit the search button and find them that way. So I'll go click on the MasterCard gift card option on the side here. And there he is right at the top. So I'm going to hit the buy button. And this brings me to a page where I'm going to put in my $25 card. Now, this is where you get hit with those fees. So he's he's marked it up a decent amount. I'm paying $1.37 for each dollar of Bitcoin I'm getting. Um, but I mean, when you're paying with a gift card, uh, yeah, you're going to have to, uh, you know, deal with a little bit of a fee. Anyways, uh, so I hit buy now and I'm just going to chat here, uh, say a quick hello. And 
he responds, okay, so he wants me to type in the info of the card. And now I don't have a problem doing this on the screen here because obviously this guy is going to clear off the card as soon as the transaction goes through. Um, now here he's asking me to upload a picture of the card, which I have already taken one. Um, I'm just kind of skipping ahead here quickly so that you guys don't have to wait around for all of this. Uh, but I upload a picture of the card and once it is uploaded, it'll say complete. And once this guy takes a look at it, he says, thanks. Uh, wait a minute. We'll try to process the card. Uh, I'll just say a quick thank you. I'll skip ahead here again. And there we go. Success. Seller has released Bitcoins to your wallet. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to leave him some positive feedback because he was nice and quick with everything. Uh, so I'll just say, you know, quick response, easy trade, thank you. And I'll leave that feedback. Now, if I go up top uh, and I click on my wallet, I can see that I now have some Bitcoin in my account. I've got, you know, just shy of $19 or $18.50 around there in my wallet. If I wanted to send this out to my own wallet, I could do that by uh, picking how much I'm going to send out and entering in my receiving address. If you're unfamiliar with sending and receiving Bitcoin, please check out my Copay wallet tutorial. Uh, that will give you all the skills you need to do this. It's pretty straightforward, but I recommend checking that out. Now, let's go back and check out how to create an offer if you wanted to sell your Bitcoin uh, for any of the payment methods available on this site. So I'm going to hit create an offer. I'm going to hit sell Bitcoin. I'm going to choose my currency again. Uh, and now these are the payment methods. So I can start typing in. Uh, I know they do Interact e-transfer, so I can hit Interact online, Interact e-transfer. I can start typing that, or I can hit view payment methods just so I can see what's available and kind of peruse through this list here. Uh, but I, yeah, I'll just, I'll just go with Interact e-transfer here. I'll just click on that. And that is selected. I can give it a label. So, you know, I could really label it whatever, but obviously you want um, it to be easy to figure out what you're asking for. Um, you're going to select your country. That can be important, especially for Interact e-transfers. Um, you can add additional payment info if you have any extra stuff that you need to put in there. And this is where you make your profit. You set uh, the margin that you'd like to offer at. So you could do 5 or 10%. It'll adjust automatically. Uh, and then you also set the range, uh, how much you're willing to sell. So say between $10 and $100, you can set that here. Uh, you can sell a million if you got that much, but uh, I don't. So um, anyways, you can set how long uh, that it'll time out after. You can add in offer terms and trade instructions and all that stuff. Once you're done filling that out, you just click down below and hit create offer. And that's it. You're on your way to selling Bitcoin. You wait for a seller to come along. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Drop a tip if you're able to and share this video with anyone you think may benefit. I will see you guys next time on the BTC Sessions.